as well as attempting questions using the ACCA practice platform, it is equally important for you to mark your own answer script and thoroughly review the ACCA marking guide and sample answer so that you can learn from any mistakes you may have made. In a previous video, we showed you the step-by-step -step process to access the marking guides. In this video, we will walk through how you can use the self-marking capabilities within the practice platform. To self-mark, select the Mark tab. Here, you will see all your submitted exams. Select the exam you wish to self-mark. You will be taken to the self-marking interface. On the left is the sample answer and marking guide. Use this to help you award marks for your responses. You can toggle between the marking guidelines and the sample answer by selecting click here. You can also zoom in and out to make the text more legible. In the centre is the response you all have provided. On the right is the rubric. This provides information on marks available per question and requirement. On the top, you'll see a tab for each question number and you'll be able to move between these for marking. To start marking, toggle the tick marking mode to the right. This will reveal a marking bar above your response. Then select the requirement you are marking in the rubric. Without selecting a requirement, you will be unable to allocate any marks to your response. To add marks, select the tick icon on the top of the response area and the marks you wish to award. Next, simply allocate these marks to the sentence, paragraph or calculation that you are marking and this will appear on your response. You can add annotations and comments to provide yourself with useful feedback. To do this, highlight the word, sentence or paragraph you wish to add a comment to. You should see an annotation icon appear over the text that you have highlighted. Click on this icon to add your feedback comment. Select Save before closing the annotation. This comment will be viewable to you when you wish to review your script. Note that annotations cannot be added to the spreadsheet response. If you have added a mark in error, it is possible to remove this by deselecting the tick icon and clicking on the mark that you wish to remove in the student response. Three additional options are available on the marking menu. These options will not add additional marks to the response. Rather, they provide insights on where you have or haven't obtained a mark. Use the max option where you have already obtained the maximum marks available for a question, but you may have additional answers that you have noted correctly. Where your response includes repetition of a point already made, use the PAG point already given. Use the OFR own figure rule calculation where you have incorrectly calculated a number, but then use this incorrect number for a further calculation where the method used is correct. It is also possible to leave an overall comment for yourself regarding your overall performance. To do this, add your feedback to the comment box at the bottom right of the rubric. Once you have finished marking, select the cross on the top right hand corner of the marking view. You'll be given a prompt to confirm you wish to exit the marking view. Select yes. You will now be able to view your results and your feedback in the results tab. You can review your self-marking by selecting the review button. Here you will be shown your overall result as well as a breakdown of your self-marking by question. You can exit by selecting the tabs at the top.